Hi everyone, we're gonna build our first website in Webflow. Uh, it's gonna be super basic like this. And we're not actually going to build it so much as use a lot of the kind of pre-made stuff in Webflow. Um, I do this because I want a real good overview of yeah what the process is, like how you start a site, how you put stuff in it, how you publish it, how do you preview it, okay? So that's why it's a short video and we're gonna to get to here quite quickly because there are just some basics. I wanna show you the whole process in one little bit and show you the main areas that you're going to use before we get into some more of the you know, fundamental stuff of Webflow. A nice brief overview. It's gonna either be really helpful and you'll be like, oh yeah, that was good. Like now I get a sense of where we're going or it's gonna to be too fast and be very confusing. I'm unsure which one it is yet, so let's go. <laughs> right, to begin, uh, depending on where you start, you might be here, you can start a new site, you might end up actually just in this window here. Okay, you can start with templates, which is gonna be great later on when you're awesome. Um, but for now, let's just start with a free uh, project. You can, I'm just gonna demo it. You can follow along if you want at this stage, but we're gonna bin what I'm gonna make. It's more of a complete walkthrough, remember, just to give you a sense of what's in the future. So this is the designer. Welcome, this is where you're gonna spend most of your time. Uh, the, there's kind of like four main places to find stuff. I'm gonna show you three now and one later on called the editor, that's later in the course. But the main ones you need now is the designer. Okay, this is where we get to add and draw stuff. So I can go in here and say this little plus button and I could say I want a heading and then I want a button. Remember this is just a quick whiz through if you're like, oh, slow down, this is not the purpose of this <laughs> video is to give you a kind of a, a broad overview before we get into the nitty gritty. So the designer is where you make stuff and do your design work. Okay, the other place that is useful is see up here in the corner, okay, is your project settings. So this is our project, okay, this is my project. Okay, I can go into those settings and it has a lot of important stuff. So mine's called Dan's Awesome Site. Okay, and we've got a button and a heading on it. Here, general stuff, the name of your website, favorite icons. <laughs> Okay, uh, what, you know, where you're based, all these sorts of things. Um, members is an area for, you might have it another designer helping you or um, your client goes in there, ways of publishing, your billing, things you can change for the website for SEO, any form submissions. I guess it's not too ready to go through it is, it's more like this section here has a lot of important stuff that when you get started, you'll be like, where is that? It is in your settings, your project settings. Okay, so let's go back to the designer for this project called Daniel's Awesome Site. Okay, there's a few ways of getting everywhere. So remember, designer, I can go to my project settings, okay? But let's say you've got two projects. You're working with three clients, 10 clients, you're awesome. Okay, you can go to your dashboard and you'll end up here quite often when you load up uh, Webflow after a while. Okay, you log out or uh, go away from it and close it and come back here, you'll end up here. At the moment, we've got one site. You'll end up with multiple sites in here if you build multiple sites. From here, you can, more often than not, just click on it and go to the designer where we were before. Or you can go straight to the project settings. There it is, this project's settings. So those are the three parts, the designer, the settings, and this dashboard. So you're gonna to toggle between all of these. These things along here are, that's important, these things here, cool websites they've made, uh, designers that you might hire, their education part, like that's the main bit. And within this um, dashboard, you can open your project and a designer. There you go. So those are the main areas. And the other main things I wanna cover is I'm gonna click these and just delete on my keyboard. And I wanna just quickly go through these um, chunks here. So you've got elements and layouts. Okay, elements are the little building blocks that you're going to work with. Okay, so you're gonna start creating a container, okay? And then inside that container, you can put your heading so it's not, remember that heading was all the way over there. Okay, and you start building your website. You go, okay, I need, uh, what else do we need? <laughs> Easy stuff, I need an image. Okay, let's put our image in. Missed it, get it in the right area. Okay, and you start building your website through these elements and there's lots in here. There's forms you can see, there's nav menus, all sorts of cool stuff that we're gonna learn in this course. Okay, layouts is, let me delete these. Layouts is not cheating, okay, but is pre-made chunks. You want a sticky nav to the top, boom. You want a layouts, you want a hero section, there you go. Uh, do you want a footer? 
where am I going? There we go, plus layouts footer. Okay, and you've got a quite a complex site going already. And the cool thing about it is, I'm gonna show you, this is your preview. So this is the designer, right? This is me with all the editing and lots of junk everywhere. You can clean everything up and preview what it's gonna look like to the end user by clicking this little eyeball. There we go, it's gonna look like. You can see here, I can't do a whole lot. It's not beautiful, but it's a lot of the structure is there. Like if you switch down to this, say, um, mobile view, can you see the nav, does that change? Yeah, the nav restacks, the images kind of stack differently on the here. They've done a lot of the work for you by using those layouts. Okay, to come out of the preview, just click the eyeball again. So elements, all the individual bits, layouts are all the individual bits stuck together. Okay, that's still a heading and that's still some text and that's still a button, but it's centered now, look at that, centered in the box. So it's just a way of kind of jumping okay and skipping now you can't do it yet you could the problem becomes is like okay i want to get this i want to delete this okay i want to delete this whole you know bit do i just delete all of them why did that jump over there there's a lot of things that this is super helpful for once you know what you're doing okay so you at the end of this course what you'll be able to do is be able to use all of this and know what the float is and why Flexbox is keeping this in the middle. It's not hard, you just gotta learn it. So jumping to these um, pre-made stuff or templates of other people's is cool, but only once you've got some basic skills. I'm gonna give you some basic skills so that you too can save time by copying templates or cloning websites or using these big um, layout chunks. Anything else I wanted to show you? So uh, elements, building blocks, layouts, cheating, okay, previewing, and the other one is publishing. Okay, so up here, okay, we can publish it and it can be seen on the internet by people. It's gonna use this kind of strange domain. Um, like I said earlier in the course, you can use your own custom domain, but for the moment we're gonna use this and you can publish it and people can see it. Previewing it just for you, publishing it to the world, building it with elements, cheating by using Webflow's elements that they've already made, all kind of pre-styled and ready to go. Okay, that is my brief overview of making something in Webflow. The full process is brief as it was. Also, don't forget the kind of places you need to be. Remember, your project setting is everything about this particular project. Okay, back to the dashboard to see all the different projects you're working on. And the editor will actually talk about later on. This is what the view that your client will potentially see if you give them access to update the site. You might not be planning to do that, but that's another chunk. All right, I hope that helped. Did it help? I don't know. I feel like a quick little brief through is kind of nice to see where everything goes, or it's gonna confuse the heck out of you. <laughs> it's one or the other, right? So <laughs> uh, either way, let's go to the next video and actually start building something from scratch so that we get to know Webflow. Little bonus, I guess, is we get to find out how to delete a website because this is all it was for, okay? Was to <laughs> you know get something up and throw it together. So if you've made something, we're gonna delete it. So I'm gonna go back to my dashboard, okay? And I'm going to say, here's all my projects. This particular one, I'm going to delete. And you have to be very, type in all of that, because it's very important, because they delete it and you never let it back. Do not copy and paste that, because that's cheating. <laughs> all right, so we're cleaned up, and ready to start properly in Webflow. I'll see you in the next video. That, my friend, is the end of the video. Uh, but not the end of the course, uh, the video you just watched. Um, it is a small part of my large course called Webflow Essentials. So if you enjoyed the video, my teaching style, there'll be a card up here you can click or a link in the description, okay? And come join me for the full course. Uh, like the video as well if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff, but hopefully see you in the course. Bye.